It, it wasn't safe before. CRISPR is, I mean, it's, it, it obviously has its applications, but if we want to go into like real clinical therapies, right. where we're, we're, we're starting to like now go into trials, like human trials and things like that, we needed this kind of mechanism yes. that would control for the aftermath of that DNA cut. Right. AI meets CRISPR for precise gene editing. University of Zurich has developed a powerful new method to precisely edit DNA by combining cutting edge genetic engineering with artificial intelligence. So CRISPR, it's it's kind of an old technology now. Um, basic idea, you get to cut DNA wherever you want mm -hmm. in, in in like the, the spot that you want. Mm -hmm. uh, CRISPR only cuts. And once it's cut, other stuff comes in to repair. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so far, it's just been a sort of cut and hope. Mm -hmm. Okay. You cut it at the cut spot and, <laughs> and you hope that whatever machinery is in the cell already is going to come and repair this DNA. Right. And there's not going to be any anything weird that happens. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, you're going to get lucky if it's a healthy cell. But in certain situations, it's not going to go well, right? There's going to be um, these repair mechanisms. What they're going to do is sometimes delete a nucleotide or two, and then your whole gene is yep. completely wrecked. Yep. Um, you might be working with something called um, non-proliferating cells, so cells that don't actually cell divide, like your neurons. Most of, the, most of the cells in your body, muscle cells obviously cell divide. Your neurons do not cell divide. So they don't have half the machinery necessary for DNA repair mm. that a dividing cell would have. Mm -hmm. um, so for those cells, if we want to use CRISPR and these new genetic technologies, we're going to need a more robust way to control for the repair mm -hmm. after the cut. the cut. No more cut and hope. Yeah, no, we want to cut... And then engineer. Right. Now this is the this is like sort of going towards engineering the repair. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. They made this AI called Pythia. Okay. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Okay. Whatever. Mm -hmm. It's <laughs> it's um it's named after the oracle at the uh, temple of Apollo in Delphi. Yep. The oracle of Delphi is supposed to tell the future. Okay. And predict the future. So this thing is predicting how the repair is going to go. Ah. Uh, okay. Yeah. And so now when you can cut and heal and have some level of efficacy mm -hmm. uh, in the okay. entire top-down process in the yeah, entire right? top-down process mm -hmm. uh from from identification to extraction to repair um obviously my mind goes to the implications be being you can now have more consistency in expected outcome to changes made by crispr that's exactly the point yeah now we can now we can actually start like really targeting and in, in, a, in a safe way. Right. Right. 